week. What's up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here with Hollywire, hanging out with Jared and Inbar of Underemployed. Oh. What's up, Hollywire? I saw the first episode. So exciting. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you. What was Thank your favorite you. part? Um, you know what my favorite part actually was? When you said, um, why didn't you put your that you were pregnant on Facebook, your Facebook status? <laughs> right? I love that. Such I think that's a, such a good line. Such a simple thing to do. I, I forgot. I feel like you guys are such a fun cast. Like, if you guys seem so, you guys have so much chemistry on camera, and you guys didn't know each other before, right? No, no. we we met um, <clears throat> when we both tested for the show for the first time. Okay. And how would you guys say that you most relate to your characters? I relate to Raviva in a lot of ways. She's She can be very intense, very opinionated. Her mouth sometimes gets her in trouble. She's very passionate about what she believes in and who she loves and her friends. So I relate to all those wonderful things. What do I relate to the most about Lou? Our want and desire to be good people, but sometimes our actions get sort of twisted and becomes this whole mess that you didn't really anticipate in the beginning and then you have to figure out a way to, to solve it while making everyone happy but still maintaining uh, what you want out of out of everything and also we're both just badass because yeah he has tattoos I don't but I do when I play him so that so you know on, you take on the character yeah, of it immediately. I love that your characters are based off of Craig's son and his friends. Did you, have you hung out with him? Like, did you do that research? I wish. I wish I did. I I asked Craig so many times. Hey, is is, is Lou gonna come out? Is he gonna come out and visit? Does he really want to see what, what we're doing? Can he please come out? Like, I just want to meet him. And he said no. <laughs> really? Uh, he he said that Lou felt it would be kind of weird if those dreams crossed, but. I don't really play his, like a copy of his son, so I didn't have to take on any mannerisms, even though I wanted to, like, so desperately. <laughs> like, I want to be you. I want to want to learn yeah. your mannerisms. I wanted to, like, yeah. Ray Charles it and, you know, Jamie Foxx, just study him and be like, oh, I got, oh, oh I see, he does this weird shoulder thing. Okay. All right, I got that. In the show, you guys have something unexpected happen to you, obviously. Um, what is something maybe in your guys' lives that has happened that's kind of like thrown you for a loop? I was uh, I was fired from my job. I was doing marketing for a hair hair care line for curly hair. That was my day job, and uh, that that was my way of going out and auditioning. And not having that safety net was just very, very scary. Something in my life that really shook me up oh well, I okay I was in a I was in a relationship that really wasn't the healthiest for me and I was uh, I was 18 she was 21 so I was at a very impressionable age and I sort of started doing things that I never in a million years thought I would do and I became a different person and after that it just sort of like woke me up and said wow you need to never lose sight of who you are ever again. Totally. Let's do a, the generation game. So basically, generation. so I'm going to ask a question about a generation. You have to say like what represents, defines our, our generation. What would you guys say is the song of our generation? I really, really <laughs> like We Are Young by Fun. How about the abbreviation of our generation? LOL. LOL. I feel like that's like the, I know, I feel like LOL. LOL? I hate LOL though. I hate it because yeah. it totally means that you're not laughing. <laughs> It's like the excuse for not laughing. 100%. It's true. It's like true. it comes after the weirdest things. It's movie of our generation. Titanic? What's so good about that movie is that you always think that it's going to end differently. You, get, you just get so... Ra no, do you? you? Do you? Because I feel like... You don't? I mean, not necessarily. You don't, you don't get so wrapped up in the ship and the people that sometimes you just... You lose track and then you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's going to sink. How about the dance move of our generation? I think as of now, it's got to be Gangnam Style. I that song, I that, that song over, that just overpowered every other person that was out there I, making a, I, making I a dance like that. I need to see it. To He's really to good at it. Real fast. It's so good. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. This <laughs> <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> And last question, what is going to be the TV show of the generation, you guys? I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it starts with, uh, with, a, with, a, U, with a U. Ends and with a 
D un, un, under employed, and then un, it has something to do with with jobs and underemployed. underemployed. Yay, I'm so excited, you guys, for the rest of the season and you guys for more on these fabulous, talented twosome and, of course, underemployed. Be sure to head to hollywire.com and tune in October 16th, right? 10 p.m. Yes. 10 p.m. Tuesday. on MTV. MTV.